Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch. And today we have yet another update to Visual Studio Code. I've been covering these for the last several months. I think there's important enough application in most of our lives to continue covering it. Uh, but the thing is, this update, the October update, it sucks. It absolutely and utterly sucks. Now, there's nothing wrong with Visual Studio Code. There's nothing specifically wrong with this update. But let me go ahead and explain why it sucks. So let's go ahead. Want to go ahead and grab it. Go to help. Go ahead and check for an update. Uh, you'll notice I already have it. So you can go ahead and restart and install said update. And presto. Here we are. So we're now in the October update. Uh, and I'm going to first show you something uh, in terms of the last couple updates. So here we are going back in time a little bit. I'm just going back to July. This is sort of where the symptoms started to kick in. July update, we have uh, the following changes. So you see uh, changes to the default browser. You're going to revert pull requests, extensions updates, override profiles, uh, CSS updates. Uh, you can change the way updates work. And then we've got this one down here. Copilot now uses GPT-4.0. All right, so that was the uh, July update. So the August update, uh, we get some new stuff here as well. Profiles editor, Django updates, IntelliSense updates, uh, and so on. Then we've got GitHub Copilot here and Copilot instructions here. All right, so we're up to two now from one. And then we move on into September. September, we've got uh, find and explore, source code graph, uh, Python improvements or testing improvements, uh, ESM migration, which is very nice. So the, uh, the underlying system changed. So the new modular system made the whole thing faster. But then we got Copilot in native REPL, chat context, which is, again, more Copilot stuff. Uh, and then we move on to October. So this is this month's update. And I want to show you something. Copilot, Copilot, GitHub, Copilot, Copilot. Yeah, so all of the updates this month, everything they're pushing is either for their GitHub integration, which is fine, by the way, or Copilot. Now, I'm actually of the attitude that Copilot shouldn't even be part of Visual Studio Code. It is a plugin that should be implemented and updated on its own, and Visual Studio Code should get its own updates. And then, you know, if you want to have Copilot, you can get Copilot. But the entire selling point of Visual Studio Code is that it is a modular, extensible, lightweight, <laughs> lightish weight editor. And this copilot stuff, it's getting more and more entwined. But when you see this update and it's all freaking copilot, that's disgusting. I'm really getting sick of this. So the October 2024 update is the biggest fail yet, in my humble opinion. And I don't have anything against Copilot, to be honest. I think it's perfectly functional. I don't use it myself, but I have used it, and I can understand why other people would choose to. It's just that Microsoft seemed to be turning Visual Studio Code in here. Uh, you can tell where their profit drivers are. Uh, the other thing here, again, we do have this other integration here. So we do have the ability to log into uh, multiple GitHub accounts. Uh, so you can switch between them. And we'll log into them simultaneously on Visual Studio Code. That is a nice upgrade. But of course, it is a tie into another one of their products. And this Copilot stuff, again, one, two, three, four out of seven, and then five out of seven being basically ties into their own products. That is awful. And then the other stuff you've got here is pretty pathetic, to be honest. Well, not it's minor. Uh, so you've got doc strings with pilots. So you can generate doc string templates for classes or methods and preview setting indicators. Uh, so view experimental settings in the settings editor. Those are those are it. I do like this one. Uh, it basically, you can have things flagged. Uh, let's go on down to the description of that. I'm going to skip over all the Copilot crap because, uh, again, I don't think it should be part of this. Let me know what you think on that one. Do you think Copilot should be its own product with its own updates? Or do you think it should be tightly integrated and in taking over like what we are seeing here? Because that definitely is a trend here. So again, the new features that you might actually care about if you're not using Copilot, they do have the ability to have multiple GitHub accounts, which is nice. There's also a new uh, TypeScript import setting, which is quite nice. Uh, there's a number more icons for profiles uh, and you can also set up. So this one is kind of nice view, view icons in the panel. So right now you've got like problems, output ports, comments, terminal here. You can set up icons for them and have this go away. Honestly, I don't think that this really brings much though, uh, because your limitation here is um, it's going to take, take up the amount of vertical space. So I suppose if you have a whole lot of things uh, going on, it makes sense to iconize them. But generally, you're not constrained for space left to right. You're constrained to space up to down. But that is a new feature here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Copilot, Copilot. Uh, let's see, we got some more Copilot, Copilot. Oh, web search for Copilot, Copilot. Uh, and yeah, on we go. Copilot, Copilot. Data analysis for Copilot, Copilot. 
uh, Visual Studio uh, co code commander extension. Oh, that's nice. All right, this doesn't seem to be Copilot. So uh, access your personal assistant with Visual Studio Code. Powerful tools enable you to configure Visual Studio Code environment by using conversational free form text with VS Code Commander. You can discover and explore various settings and commands, tailor your development environment to your need. Uh, these actions can be formed with a simple intuitive chat in Copilot. Damn you! Uh, so yeah, you're noticing a trend here? It's all Copilot. We do have a couple things. Python, uh, you get native REPL uh, variable view now. Uh, this is nice, so you can do basically on-the-fly evaluations if you wish. Uh, generate doc strings with pylance is in there. You can fold all doc strings. So if you're using Python, uh, this is a nice update. Uh, more Copilot. Um, yeah. Even the extension stuff is Copilot. And we get into the preview features. Here is a nice one. Uh, so update imports on paste for JavaScript and TypeScript. So you paste something in and it will automatically bring in the appropriate inputs. And that's it. That is the update. It, it is BS. It is uh, basically some new icons, some Python changes, the, the experimental feature there, and uh, the ability to log into multiple GitHub accounts. And then everything else is Copilot. Visual Studio Code, please stop going down this road. I... I don't know. Maybe you guys don't care. Maybe you think that, I guess if you're using uh, Copilot 100% with your project, it's all one thing to you. But I think that probably the majority of people using Visual Studio Code aren't using Copilot and would probably like to have it treated as a plugin, just like everything else should be. So the whole lightweight, svelte, a modular design of Visual Studio Code is being compromised, in my humble opinion. And that's why, in my humble opinion, the October 2024 update sucks. So hopefully, November, we get back to, you know, stuff for all developers and not just Microsoft trying to make money off Copilot. But let me know what you think of this update. Are you as annoyed as I am, or is this just me overreacting? It's perfectly, perfectly possible. Let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. And hopefully, November's update is much nicer. All right, that's it. Goodbye.